Good morning. So today we're gonna to do about a 15 minute, um, quick, effective um, series of stretches, about five stretches um, intended to increase flexibility and improve athletic performance. Um, so all you're gonna need is a strap, a yoga strap if you have one. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can grab a belt, you can grab a towel. Uh, so go ahead and, and do that. And then we're gonna start on our back with our strap. So lie flat on your back and you either have a strap, a belt, a towel, something that works for you. And let's just go ahead and loop the right foot and extend that leg straight up to the ceiling. And then if you can, you're gonna slide the left leg out to straight on the floor. Kind of wrap your strap or your whatever you're using around the ball of the foot so the foot flexes a bit and you're getting a calf stretch as well as a hamstring stretch. Slide your hands down, let your collarbone be wide. And then just soften your eyes. We're looking for a stretch in the hamstring, maybe even the Achilles and the calf. And we're gonna spend about two minutes in each stretch. So that's about a minute on each side. So it's gonna be like, again, about a 15 minute series of stretches intended to do before a vigorous workout and possibly after a vigorous workout. So pull your stretching leg towards you as much as you can, you guys keeping level hips. So if you pull the leg in too far, you're gonna end up pulling that whole right hip and pelvis higher than the left. We wanna maintain level hips. And we also wanna maintain what we call a neutral pelvis. So the tailbone is on the floor and there's a little natural curve under the lower back. And then bring your awareness and attention to your breath. And see if you can shift your breath into nostril breathing. So we're going to do the best we can just to breathe in and out our nose. And we're going to do the best we can to lengthen and deepen our breath. So that's about a minute there. We're going to go ahead and switch sides. Step your second foot in. First leg will slide out to the mat. Again, flex both feet and, and figure out how far you can pull this leg, second leg towards you, again, maintaining a neutral pelvis. So if we pull the leg in too far, the whole tailbone rolls up and now I'm compressing my lower back. If we pull the leg in too far, the whole side of your hip will creep up higher than the other. And again, I'm compressing the lower back. So maybe use your hands to make sure your hip bones are level. Maybe lift your head and chest, take a peek at your pelvis, make sure your hip bones are level. So find enough sensation without holding the breath, right? So because being in the shape isn't quite enough, we have to mindfully be in the shape, meaning we're present with what we're doing. And um, the lengthening and deepening the breath will truly help the body release. So you guys, again, come back to your breath and just count the length of your breath for a few cycles. So count the length of your inhale and count the length of your exhale. No judgment, just few times. And then whatever you notice today with your breath, however your breath is now, can you lengthen it just by a few seconds? So take three more full breaths here and add two seconds onto your inhale and two seconds onto your exhale if possible. So we're consciously choosing to lengthen and even deepen the breath and that's going to help the body release and let go. Two more full breaths in the hamstring stretch. And notice if you're overworking the shoulders, the face, the jaw, try to let go. Final full breath on this side. And release. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that prop and we're gonna go into a figure four stretch. So let's cross the right ankle over the left knee and you're gonna push that knee open. So we're looking to feel a stretch in the outer right hip. And if this is enough, you stay here. If you want more, you're gonna grab the left thigh and pull that whole shape into you. Again, if you keep this ankle a little flexed, like a neutral and don't let the ankle break, you're gonna get more of a stretch, right? So there's a little activity in the foot. Let the shoulders drop, soften your eyes. And come back to lengthening and deepening your breath. So find that, that length of breath that you had a moment ago. 
Really feel the quality of the breath. Feel on every inhale, your belly expand. Your side body. Your back body. Your chest. So your whole torso like a balloon blowing up, almost ready to pop. Every time you breathe in, fill up completely. And allow your exhales to be complete. So in the figure four stretch, again, we're trying to maintain a neutral pelvis. So the tailbone stays down. If you pull in too far, the tailbone rolls up and you're actually gonna get less of a stretch there. One more full breath on our first side. And then switching legs, two feet can step on the floor. Cross your left ankle over your right knee and push the knee open and away from you, feeling that stretch in the outer left hip. Notice the quality of your breath here, you guys, and move into the shapes, the stretches as much as you can today in this moment without compromising the breath. breath. So if we end up holding the breath and it's going to create more tension, and even though we're in the shape, the body may not even let go. So go ahead and if you'd like to make it deeper, grab that shape, pull it in towards you. Keep a little activity in the left ankle, the crossed ankle. And we'll take five full deep breaths here. Long, lengthened, deep, smooth, even rhythmic breaths in and out of the nose, helping calm the nervous system and release the muscular tension. So again, those of you guys that want to repeat this, I will um, actually upload it onto my YouTube channel so it will be there for you anytime you need it. And I'm, I'm pretty much doing about one minute in each shape, which is five to ten deep breaths. And let's take two more breaths here. Soften the shoulders. Soften the face. And let's release. Squeeze two knees into your chest. Curl your head and chest up. You're just going to rock a few times if that's doable. If it's not, come up however it is. And we're going to make our way onto our hands and knees for a, um, for a hip flexor stretch, quad and hip flexor stretch. So you might want your strap nearby and you might um, need some extra padding for your knees. We're going to go ahead and step the right leg forward between the hands. Hands can come on the inside of the front knee. I have a helper this morning, <laughs> four-legged helper. Um, and then scoot your back knee back as much as you can manage and drop your hips forward and down. So if this bothers the back knee, you guys just kind of double over your mat so you have more padding. Again, let the hips drop forward and down. Feel a stretch across the hip flexor. Notice the quality of your breath and lengthen and deepen your breath. So if this feels like enough this morning, you stay like this or at any point in time whenever you're doing this. If you want to add on, you're going to bend the back knee, reach back with the opposite arm. So my left leg is back, so my right arm is going to reach back. I'm going to turn away from you guys to start and I'm going to fish for my foot. And if I can't find my foot, you guys, I can use the strap around my foot to find my foot. And then I'm going to rotate my chest, rolling that top shoulder onto my back. Continue to drop the hips forward and down. So now I'm adding a little bit more of a quad stretch to the hip flexor stretch. The top shoulder rolls open. And I take three more deep, full breaths here. Softening the hips forward and down. So using just as much effort to be in the shape as you guys need. But if we over effort, often the body's not going to open. So use minimal effort, continue to lengthen and deepen the breath, two more full breaths on this side. And if you've got that back foot, release, and come on out, hands and knees, and we'll make our way into the second side. So second leg will step forward again, if you think you need to pad the knee, feel free to pad your back knee, and just start with the basic hip flexor stretch. So let the hips drop forward and down. Move that back knee back as much as your body will allow for today in this moment. Notice the quality of your breath and continue to lengthen and deepening your breath. So if you don't have a breathing practice, it's really helpful to count. Literally count the length of your inhale with numbers and count the length of your exhale with numbers. It helps you stay present. It helps you stay focused. Right, the more we can kind of steady and lengthen the breath, the more the body will release. If this is enough, stay. If we want to add more, we reach back with the opposite arm. So my right leg is behind me, meaning my left arm will reach back. 
I'm gonna fish for that foot back there, and if I can't reach it, I can always use my strap. It is a rotation, so I'm rolling my chest open and putting that top shoulder on my back. And we'll take five more deep full breaths here, releasing the hip flexors, releasing the quads, even the top shoulder. Continue to lengthen and deepen your breath in and out the nose. And try not to shove and try not to resist. So there's an element of letting go once you're in the shape. Letting, you know, we do need to hold the shape a little bit, but use minimal physical effort. Soften as much as you can with each exhale. Let's take two more full breaths here on this side. Hmm. Sometimes it's nice to exhale and sigh it out. Right? There is a sense of release. Open mouth, exhale. Ha. Ah, the face, shoulders, jaw. Let go. And if you've got that back foot, release. And we're going to come on out of there and sit back and do a quick child's pose. So just sit your hip, hips back, round your spine, take a full breath or two here. And again, you guys, if this isn't comfortable, you can always lie on your back, hug your knees into your chest. And then come on up. And so we're going to sit. If you're comfortable sitting on your feet, you sit on your feet. If you're comfortable sitting on the ground, you sit on the ground. If you're not completely and utterly comfortable sitting on the ground, which will probably be the case if you don't have a practice in which you do this regularly, you guys grab a chair quickly. Just grab a chair, sit on the chair, sit on the front edge of the couch, and you're going to need your prop for this one. So we're going to go into a shoulder stretch. So we're going to grab the prop, whatever it is, towel, strap, right hand's going to come up, and we're going to bend the elbow. Use the other arm, you guys, to roll this arm in. It's a rolling into the middle and a pushing back. So I want to feel and find a stretch across my tricep, the back of my arm. Careful not to bury the head, right? So we have a tendency to kind of bury the head and neck. Try to keep your eyes gaze forward and notice the quality of your breath. So if you go too, too fast and push too hard, you're gonna lose the quality of the breath. And you're, even though you're in the shape, you guys, the body's not gonna open that way. And then when you're ready, this opposite arm is gonna come behind us and grab the strap. So we're gonna walk the hands as close together as we can manage behind us. And if your hands actually touch and you can grab your own hands, you do, if most of us will continue to hold the strap. So you're gonna keep rolling the top arm in and back. Feel the back arm, you guys, and put the shoulder head on your back. How's the breath? Five more breaths in the shoulder stretch. So we've really got everything happening. We're stretching the back of the tricep, the tricep here. We're stretching the front shoulder of the back arm. And now soften into the shape, three more full breaths. And notice, you guys, often when we're stretching the shoulders, the, the, the body wants to find a way out of the sensation, so the back will arch. Can you gently pull your front body to your back body, your ribs and waist into your spine, so you're not displacing the spine in order to stretch the shoulders. One more full breath here. And release. We'll go right into the second side. So left arm goes up, bend the elbow. Use the right arm to roll that arm in and back. Try to keep the eyes neutral, the neck neutral, don't bury the head. And feel that stretch of the back of the arm, the tricep. Lengthen and deepen your breath. And then when you're ready, the right arm can come behind you. And you either grab the strap. We, most of us are going to grab a strap. Walk your hands as close together as you can on this side. It may be very different from the other on or that. And your back arm, you guys, that right shoulder head rolls back as my top elbow continues to roll in and back. And I'm going to take five full breaths in the tricep and shoulder stretch here. Soften the face. Soften the jaw. And continue to notice the quality of the breath. Work with the quality of the breath. Long, deep, smooth, possibly even rhythmic breaths. In and out your nose. Pull 
Pull the front body to the back body so the spine is neutral. And final breath here. And release. Awesome, you guys, last one. So we're gonna finish on our back, hugging two knees into your chest. And we're gonna go into a spinal rotation. So just go ahead and take the arms wide. Let both knees drop over to the right and let them drop all the way to the floor. And if they don't comfortably reach the floor, you guys, stick them on something. A blanket, a pillow, a block if you have one, a dog if it's nearby. And then you can turn your head in the opposite direction of your knees. And if, you're, if your legs need a little assistance, you can kind of hold that thigh and rotate or pull just subtly. Come back to the quality of the breath. And again, feel the space in the side body, outer hip, lower back. And take two more full deep breaths here. Ringing the spine out and releasing tension. And then final breath. And gently come to center. Second side, both knees drop the other way. Head can turn away from the knees. Use the top hand for assistance if you need it. Use a prop under your knees if you need it. Once you find enough, right, always in these shapes, in the stretches, you guys, we're looking for the place for ourselves today. It's very, very personal. Somewhere between not enough and too much. So you want to feel some sensation. You know, we're looking for sensation. We're looking for stretch. But if you go too far, you guys, the body resists and tightens. Can you find just enough for you in this moment? Lengthen and deepen the breath and allow the spine to unwind. Final few breaths in the rotation. Sigh it out your mouth. And then gently come back to center. Hug both knees into your chest, round your spine. And rock a few times. Come on all the way up. Nice work, you guys. So again, that was about 15 minutes. Again, I will upload it to my YouTube channel, Pilates Karen, Karen Seagal. Um, great for before and after a workout. Great anytime you can get it done. Um, about a one minute in each stretch. You can time it. It's helpful if you're not using the video. Um, hope you guys are all peaceful and well. Thank you for joining. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.